I think this is like day day six or something for me for us. It's day six for us, Gary. I think, which makes it day four for uh, this guy. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No, this is our seventh day. This is day seven. Wow. Yeah, start of day seven. Well, I said this wasn't an, an epic trip, so five point five for me. High five. Yeah. So we're. You had this plan, Gary. We're going to go south today, and I can't remember what you said to Pueblo. Antony? Yeah, we're going. Huh? You said Pueblo well, first. If you didn't just you? plug in your navigation, Antonito. Yeah. It'll take you the route we need to go from Greeley. Cause yeah, cause I did it on Google uh, while I was uh, awake one time during the night. And yeah. It took the route. It right. goes through Colorado Springs. Oh, that, that that's really bright, dude. There we go. Jeez. Okay, that's a little. Okay, I gotta turn this camera off. I don't oh, even know if it's doing hold on. anything. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> do we have more to say or no? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. Oh, I will say one thing. What is it? After yesterday, uh -huh. which was the chasing trains with Michelle Day. Uh -huh. Hold on, let's. Finish. I was thinking that I was mentioning this to Gary a minute ago. Oh, that's better. I was mentioning this to Gary a minute ago. Imagine what other cool stuff we would see if we could actually go chasing trains with Michelle for two days or three days. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That would really be something. Wouldn't it? it? All kinds of days. Yeah, we could run her ragged. <laughs> oh, she she enjoys it though. Oh, I mean, yeah. she seems to. <laughs> yeah, she has fun doing stuff like that. She thinks it's wonderful. It is yeah. wonderful. She's wonderful. Okay. There I it is. Right. You're right. How hour. much do I owe you? <laughs> <laughs> air balloon. Uh-huh. It looks like a gay bride one. Send it. They're sending it. That's what they're doing. Right over the freeway when we go over, when we go under it. That's something you don't see every day, so I thought I'd better make a video. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Chasing hot air balloons. Chasing balloons. Chasing balloons. Hot air. Look, we better wave to him. Yeah. I think when you wave, you're supposed to extend all of your fingers. Oh, sorry. Hey guys, looks like it happens here in Colorado too. Yeah. But is this a chase and train thing? Or is this just, you know, is this what it normally is? I think this is what it normally is. Any, anywhere around a big city like this. Everyone's getting over to the right. Yeah, they're going to that 76 exit. Oh boy. It's downtown Denver. And if you look over there, you can see where they play football. Football. Is it still the Pepsi Arena? No. It was Invesco something or other a while back. Now it's something I can't remember now. But you know, they have these names that they they make new names all the time. It could be TSG Stadium. Oh, what does it's it say? Empower Field. It's a pretty cool looking stadium, actually, I think. Wait, isn't Pepsi the basketball? Hey, bro. What are you doing, bro? Special delivery? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of like what those great Poupon ads. Pardon me, sir. Do you have a Lifelike Proto 2000 GP38 2 chest? Why, yes, I do. Wow. Here, let's <laughs> let's hand it over to the guy. There, it there is. you go, guy. That's the one. Say yeah. farewell to your chasing trains, people. Have a good journey. I think. Uh, what was it, Durango, John? We're gonna end up in Durango tonight. Yep. Cool. That'll We're going to trip. Antonito. So where are you? Which way are you heading? We're going to Antonito. We're going to Antonito. Colorado oh, Springs Antonito. Pueblo. Are you going I got to this. Como and stuff. Como estas? Como. A status, yeah. Como a status. I just noticed there's some statue up in the mountain up there. 
You see that white thing? Christ of the Andes. I don't know what it is. I was thinking more like Lord of the Rings. It's kind of small for that, but I don't. I don't remember seeing this. I think I've been through here once many years ago, and don't remember seeing that. It's probably some religious thing. But we're stuck behind some stupid truck, and it seems like they should really pull over because there's like I don't think twenty or thirty. Well, you know, there's like twenty or thirty or more cars. There's another big truck like that behind us that we managed to pass in the last passing lane, and it was really piling up behind them. Where I'm from, they're supposed to pull over and let cars pass. Like, there's a place they can pull over right there, Gary. That is correct. But they don't. They just keep going 20 miles an hour down a 50-some-odd-mile-an-hour speed limit highway, plugging up the highway like constipation. Man. Look at our driver. It's really testing. It's really testing his patience. This guy's pissed. Look at him. Oh, you're smiling there. You're supposed to look pissed, you dumb. So, here we go. So, here, here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, 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 oh. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. You made it. You made it. <laughs> you just did Okay, here we go. That's, that's, that won't be a cop right here. Right, right, you right, were right. doing 80. <laughs> Oh, you're free. We're free. Oh, Jesus and Satan's day. Oh, and here's the passing and here's the lane. Passing lane. <laughs> well, I don't know what that mountain and that valley is, are. But that is something else to behold, isn't it? Arkansas Headwaters Recreation Area. I think this it's pronounced... Arkansas. Arkansas, yeah. But my point, though, is that this whole drive on this highway is like this. Scene after scene of these really dramatic landscapes. This is what I like about Colorado. Except there's still a stupid truck in my way. There's always a truck in the way. That's my old saying. You're only as fast as the guy in front of you. Okay, well, we just passed a sign that said what this is. It's Buena Vista, Colorado. And I understand why they call it Buena Vista. It is a really great view. And I can't even see what's behind us, but I'm sure it's also really nice back there. What a cool place. I have never been here before. Very beautiful. Yeah. What do you think? I think Gary died. I think he died, Alvin. Look at him. Is he awake? No. No? There he is. Oh, there he is. What do you think of this place? Oh, it's wonderful. Nice place. Have you been here before, but Buena Vista? Buena Vista? Yeah. I've heard of it, but I've never been here. Very pretty. Well, we've made it to Alamosa and found yeah, there's some... There's the station. There's the depot right there. Yeah. We found some derelict... I think these are old Iowa Pacific... Yeah, Iowa Pacific cars. Yeah. the One of the worst run companies in the history of railroading. Uh-huh. And you said... Take a picture of the depot and send it to Matt Lurick. Yeah, here's a depot. Said, you re re remember this. I wonder if they got a place to... To use make a deposit? Yeah, make a deposit. I don't know what PRLX is. But that's an SD, it looks like an, what is it, an SD70? Yeah, it looks like it. last time you were here I don't, don't 2000 remember. I really don't remember hmm. 11 
So oh, it's been a while, huh? Well, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. It's been about 10 years at least. And Gary's saying this is where the parts to 1744 used to sit over here someplace. Next street, turn left. Our GPS sounds like a witch. <laughs> <laughs> or some or worse, I don't know what. I met a witch on this trip. I used to work at the Cheyenne Depot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a one way street, so. Now what, GPS? Now keep going several blocks until you start seeing fast food places. Okay. We're downtown right now. We close at three, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the road out to Antonito. So you can see off to the side there's tracks there. And we've seen various equipment on, on the tracks. So somebody comes out here for something. I'm sure somebody watching probably knows the answer to that question. But we'll be in Antonito pretty soon. Let's see what's going on there. Here's an example of the equipment I was talking about. This train is uh, moving slowly. And, oh, that's that same SD70M that we were looking at in town. Oh, it's an operating train. Well, we need to set up to shoot this. We should. all day for this. Yeah, kind of. I woke up at 6 a.m. Well, they're still operating just like they used to. Yeah, how's that? Uh, two trains running, one going to Monta Vista and the other one coming out here. That's the way it was last time I was out here. Wow. someone's panties but it's just a bunch of plastic what do you think of this place yeah, it's, it's cool. nice yeah yeah i don't know anything nice about tourist it. trap yeah tourist trap yeah Is that it yeah it's a tourist trap that's all we think about it okay yeah and that's the cumbersome and toltec i guess the facility colorado side various places there's a lot more here than well. I mean, I didn't I didn't really know what to expect, so I didn't expect anything. But this is a little bigger than what I figured it would be.
Hey, you guys like baseball? Mm. Uh, it's the slowest damn sport. Have you ever gone to a baseball game, Alvin? I sure have. So, what did you think? It was pretty slow, right? I'll give you an example how slow it is. Okay. It's the top of the third inning. And uh, we're ready for his batters up. Just pretend like I'm Vince Scully. And the pitcher's looking in. He's getting his signal. And he's winding up. And he throws the ball. Ball one. Catcher throws it back to the pitcher. Now the pitcher walks around the mound, picks up the rosin bag, puts some rosin on it, hands he he massages the ball. He looks in at the catcher. He's getting his signals, and he's ready to throw the ball. He winds up. Ball two. Catcher throws it back. Pitcher walks around, scratches his ass a little bit, shoves his sleeves up, looks into the catcher, gets his signal, and he throws the ball. The batter swings, strike one. Catcher throws the ball back. Pitcher walks around, takes his hat off, scratches his head, puts his hat back on, rubs up the ball. Gets his signal and throws the ball. It's a ground ball to the first baseman. He steps on the bag and the guy is out. And then, you know, that goes on for nine innings. Or maybe more. Or maybe more. Ten innings. Bottom of the twelfth inning. The score is nothing to nothing. It's two outs in the bottom of the ninth. And the pitcher has the ball. It's three balls and two strikes on the batter. And he throws the ball. And he hits it. It's over the fence for a home run. And you've been here for three hours. And nothing happened until the end of the game. So what do you think, Alvin? Was that a pretty accurate representation of a baseball game? Potentially. (laughs) So you said Vince Coley was the announcer. Well, I say you could imagine it's missing. Okay. So, it's the Dodgers at a home game. Who are they playing? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I've actually been to a Dodgers game. Oh, really? Yeah. I went. <coughs> oh, man. It's been years now. I couldn't even tell you. But my dad gave me a bunch of cash to go visit L.A. And I stopped to get a hot dog or something, and I kept it in my back pocket and not in my wallet. You and, kept the uh, hot dog in your back pocket? No, 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 no. The cash. Oh. The cash. You're talking about the hot dog. No, no, no. Man, we had daughter dogs, and those things are huge. That's what she said. Love daughter dogs. But, uh, I, it knocked out of my pocket $200 cash. And I was like, oh no, where's all my money? And, uh, I look behind me and there's it was like sailor day or something so there's a sailor and he's like he goes did you lose some money I said yeah he goes how much I said oh like 220s or some shit like that you know he like looks through and he's like man here you go I thought it was my lucky day huh? I know and I was like oh man you're so great thank you thank you and I was in line to get another hot dog because I was hungry and I said hey I'll buy you a hot dog thanks for being honest you know and he goes yeah yeah whatever so I bought him a hot dog and a beer, and then went out with my Dodgers game. And the guy next to me was from Canada. So we sat behind first base, and the guy behind me was from Canada. Yeah? Did he speak English? Yeah. He had a very French accent. Uh-huh. And he's like... You, know, you have to watch out for those Canadians. Hey? Hey. Oh. hey. <laughs> he said that he went to Venice Beach, and there was a lot of... A lot of good weed, yeah. Good weed, yeah. <laughs> and then he kept saying, "New picture, new picture." The entire game. <laughs> and his girlfriend was with him, and she didn't care. She was like, yeah, "I'm not into this." Not into it. So that was that was my MLB experience. I, I remember the first 
first Giants game I ever went to it was about 1950, whatever year they opened Windlestink Park. I think it was 58, maybe 59. And of course, we we lived in Menlo Park, which is down the peninsula, and the weather was just pretty beautiful. We went up to Windlestink Park, and the fog was blowing through, the wind was blowing through, and by the fourth inning, we left because it, we were frozen freezing our butts off. Was Windlestink Park Candlestick? Windlestink, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. When it was brand new. Well, the windshield's really dirty, but you can see we had to wait for some cows in the road. Damn zippers. That's good. This guy should work at a gas station. He's a professional gas station guy. Yeah. I've never seen a cleaner windshield in my life. Well, it's a lot better than it was, that's oh for sure. Oh gosh. All right, good morning. It's really sunny on this side, but whatever. This is day something, seven, something. Let's see. Kind of there. And Monday, Tuesday, when, today, Wednesday? I think so. It's day eight. It's day eight for us. For us. Wow, that's already day six for you. You've been gone almost a week. It's really homesick now. Look at him. Gary misses his rubber duck at home. Uh-huh. Yeah. So today we're in Durango, and we woke up from a very nice uh, sleeping. We actually slept all the way through the night, all of us. They have good mattresses at this place. We even slept through the alarm. Oh, there was an alarm, too? I can't make I this. I hear any alarm. Yeah, I can't make this look good. The sun is just blowing up the shot bad. Oh, well. People will have to deal with the blown up shot. It's unlike what I do, but too bad. We're doing, we're on the run. So we were able to get in, get our breakfasty or lunch stuff. We got a cooler, we're good to go. Now we're gonna go find a train. Go find a train. Let's go chase some trains. What do you think, Gary? You're gonna go chase some trains? Absolutely, we're hot to trot. Hot to get trot. Out of all that traffic in Durango, that morning rush traffic. Yeah. It's very congested. That was pretty cool. I've never seen one of those locomotives before. Yeah, well, I got lots of pictures of those locomotives up on the uh, White Pass and Yukon. Yeah, I was waiting for a steam engine. Yeah. But that wasn't what it was this time. Okay, no. well. Well, I think that it was a steam engine, but they just haven't. They, converted, conver they anyway. converted it to oil. They, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what happened. They converted it yeah. to oil. So, on to the next spot.
All right, well, thanks to our amazing driver. We got the shots. Look at this guy. He's like a like speed racer or Dukes of Hazard and like Mario Andretti and NASCAR rolled it all rolled into one. That's this guy. And he looks like he plays in a band. So we've learned that they're running a double header all the way to Silverton with the number 18 on the front. So this is going to be even more interesting than initially thought. Gary's so excited. He's over here dancing behind the camera. Right now they're bringing the other locomotive up, I think, to connect to this one. So we should have a really cool shot here real soon going across this highway. Gary's like a girl in a candy shop. Look at that, look at that smile. Who, who'd have thought we had to come all the way to a Durango, Colorado to see an SP steam engine? Yeah, but there it is. There it is. <laughs> I haven't seen you this animated the whole trip, Gary. <laughs> It's really cool to not have known this was going to happen and the next thing you know there it is i've been wanting to see this engine run but they blew a cylinder out sometime like a year and a half or two years ago and I, I don't know if it has really run since then but it's running today and that would be the number 18 that's on the point so this is pretty cool An unexpected bonus huh gary yeah what did you think of that? You, didn't, you don't even know the significance of it. So someday when he's older, he'll be telling his grandchildren that he doesn't have someday about the time he saw the Slim Princess, and they're going to say, oh, Grandpa's this weird train guy. Yeah, okay, Grandpa, just go back to the basement. We'll see you later when you come back up from playing with your train set, <laughs> your toy trains. <laughs> so anyway, we're pretty excited. Pleased that this is happening. So, good job, Durango and Silverton. So that's Silverton down there. It's where the Durango and Silverton ends that trip. It's kind of hard to see with the phone, but if you look, you can see tracks and where the tracks go and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. It's just this little little town tucked into this little little valley. Or I guess it's a big valley. This road is sketchy, though. You make one false move, you're over the side. Yeah. This is a cool place. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
most most people that come here come to see this stuff. We come to see the trains, but this is where they spend their time. Yeah, tourist trap. Yeah, yeah. They're backing up the train so they can store it on the Y so that when the next train comes in it'll have somewhere to go. Yeah, we, we hiked out to this other spot down that by this plate girder bridge. It wasn't as amazing of a shot as I had hoped it would be, but it was still good and a little different. So we got a shot out by the depot with the diesel and then the shot of that one there. Now it's a hike back to the car. Yeah, we're probably halfway back pretty good though I, I wasn't I didn't know what to expect up here I've never been up here so it was unknown but I have to say that I'm really happy that I came and got to see all this and seeing this area around the Durango and Silverton really makes me want to come back and ride the train all the way from one end to the other and back so that's gonna be on the list of things to do what do you think yeah same, yeah, same lots, huh yeah lots of trains this is great yeah get to see gary happy that's nice gary's really happy gary's he's gary's so happy because this 18 is running we had no idea that was going to happen that's the southern pacific engine on the front of that double header we just saw so he's really he's, i don't know if i've seen him that excited before no, alvin never yeah He's foaming in the mouth legitimately. Yep. So we're headed back to Durango because I have to meet some people at Soundtracks. We're going to do a video 
And who knows, by the time this Chasing Trains episode comes out, that soundtrack's video probably will have already come out. And it's going to be a video about what they do at Soundtracks here in Durango. What the hell is this? I feel like I'm in a Soundtracks video. Well, you very well could be. We're here in the Soundtracks Sound Studio where we shoot our Soundtracks YouTube videos every week so to help you understand more about how Soundtracks products work. So you can kind of see we have our table. We're in between videos. We just released a recent one about the big boy and our big steam decoder that's unique to Soundtracks products. We've got some here with some lighting and then we've got some tripods and some other stuff here uh, in between videos. So we're getting ready for the next one, John. You showed up at a good time. Yeah, this is behind the scenes. Check this out. What are these jokers doing here? Yeah. <laughs> so you went from the professional to the amateurs. Of course. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So we're here at Soundtracks, and this just goes to prove that they'll let anybody in here, right? Because they let us in first. Now you guys are here. Yeah, they have no idea. The Santa, the Santa Cruz joggers, right there. Well, John, in all fairness, you claimed that they're friends of yours, so I guess we yeah, had to. Oh, <laughs> so it's on you. <laughs> Go that way. I think we're going to the end. Okay. So you have to put, put the these end, things end, on. Yeah. So this is the manufacturing floor where we build all of our electronics. Um, all the decoders, everything's manufactured here. So this first machine that's right here, this is the uh, solder paste machine. And basically what it will do is it will take these raw panel circuit boards and on that panel you may have eight, 10, 12, 15 decoders depending on the size of the decoder. And what it'll do is it'll take it and put it up against the uh, st stencil. Now this rack over here of all the, the metal frames, that's actually all the different stencils of the circuit boards that we make. Nice rack. Wait, did you, <laughs> cheesy, did you cheesy. This is one of those times when you, you never know who you'll run into, but we did know who we'd run into. Yes. And I'm expecting to also see Dave Adams out around Chama in a couple of days. That will be good. So, yeah. It's been so. a long time since I've seen him. It's I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. Who's this guy? Gary, why do you have three nipples? Three yeah, nipples? What's, going on? what's going on you with that? I have three nipples. One, two. Where is it? Three. If you turn this way, I can see it in the shadow. Okay. You have to pull your shirt tighter. You can't see it. I'm a freak of nature. We call, we call Gary the yeah, tricloth. When, the, like, when, uh, the number, when, when 18 the comes gun, into right? view, you can really see him. Like I said, though, there's too much stuff on the layout right now. So these are all picked up on this last trip. So it's interesting. He has a whole series of buildings that are done like this. He has old West buildings. Mm -hmm. You can buy a White House, like the United States White yeah, House. Yeah, yeah. And the Capitol building, and they're like $185. Dang. You know, and I with wonder, interiors. I wonder if we could get him to upscale buildings for F scale. You have to print it in so many seconds. Yeah, it would have to, it would be so, so big. Do an SP Depot for you? Yeah, 200 is a generous guest. Yeah. Of course, I didn't expect anything else. What's that? Are you trying to focus? Yeah. This guy's flipping me off because no. he knew I was recording. Not me. Yeah, he would never do that. <laughs> never do that. 
<laughs> You're indecent. Yes. No, 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 no. Not me. Like the, the Nothing but the highest class. <laughs> <laughs>